They are the Washington Commanders. New name, new marks, new uniforms, new everything. I don't get the patch. I don't like the fact that for their championships, they actually use the year that they won it, not the season it corresponds with. They didn't I'm win the so 1992 that. championship. They won the 91 championship. And I, I guess they don't expect to win many more uh, because there isn't a whole lot of room there. You know, <laughs> they're going to have to drop some off or just abandon that approach. I guess it's safe for them to stick with that patch <laughs> indefinitely because there's not going to be another one added on there. Look, I, I think it's great that they dumped the name that they had. That needed to go. But... I don't like anything about the new name. I don't like anything about the new uniforms. I don't like anything about it. There's nothing about it that excites me. There's nothing about it that I think looks good. I think it looks amateurish. It looks sophomoric. It looks cheap. Ooh. And Ooh. it's exactly what I would expect a Daniel Snyder-owned organization to come up with. Ooh. Boom. Boom. Okay. Um, I don't mind it. I, I much prefer it to football team because I think football team sounds like what you just said, all those words, you know, amateurish and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, I just, I never liked football. It's sophisticated. Team. It's got it cachet. It's like a soccer what? club. Washington football stupid. team. No, no, no. If it had been You're Washington stupid. football club, <laughs> then that would have sounded more sophisticated to me because it is like, I like I'm that. I'm fine with that. I'm fine football with that. Club. I would have been okay with football club, but I don't like football team. It is a football team. I know it's a football team, but like, let's do, let's give it a little more panache, right? Let's make it plural. Finally, we have something that we can use that's plural, like every other team in the NFL, instead of something that is singular. I don't like that. The uniforms, though, um, especially that uh, that that the black helmet, which is cool that they're using, you know, the alternate helmet now. I like that, but that thing looks like Wario. You know, like Waluigi. That's all I can think of. Just Mario characters. When I see that uh, that black helmet, I don't. I don't really love that. But like I said, I just don't. I never liked football team. I like that they have a new name. It, it's fine. But I kind of agree with you that it sort of sounds like one of those Madden created teams. You know, and the uniforms kind of look like that too. The black uniform reminds me of what they wear for that. Do they still do the? The high school All American game in San Antonio, so. which the the military is involved with in some way, it reminded me when I first saw it of those uniforms. I just look. Th this is the perfect storm of Nike influence organization that doesn't get it on multiple different levels. But for Ron Rivera, th th that he's the only good thing that the Washington Football Team, aka the Commanders, have going for them. Um, I, I just you put Jason I, Wright in that category. T. Jason Wright seems like he's at least doing certain things right on the business side. Come on now. I don't know how much. I don't know how much real power he has, though. I really fair, don't. Fair, he should have more than he fair. has. He should have more than he has. And it just the hope that this still clunky, clumsy. What's Dan Snyder's status, and when can he come back? And I, it's, it's. He was there today I just, for that announcement. Yeah. What 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 they what they should have done too, and this is where PR becomes very critical. And we've been giving a lot of free PR advice this week. Maybe I should start charging for it. But you need to to figure out what your name is going to be and come up with a strategy to get people behind the name. The problem is when you have a list of eight names, and I think you and I have talked about this before. Maybe we have, maybe we haven't. Either way, I'm going to say it again. When you have a list of eight names, there's never going to be a majority of fans that get behind any one of those names. You have to whittle it down. You have to create anticipation. You have to find a way to get people behind it. And also, it would be helpful to have a, a, a realistic list of finalists and then get public input to figure out what people really want. Maybe they did it with commanders. I just, the Washington commanders, I don't know. Look, we get used to it. I didn't like Baltimore Ravens in 1996. I thought that was goofy, and I understood it was a whole Edgar Allan Poe thing, but it just doesn't scream football. Cardinals doesn't scream football. Ravens doesn't scream football. I mean, I guess commanders at least is closer to something that feels like football, but I just don't like it. And I, I, just, I don't like, and, I, and if the uniforms would have been appealing to the eye, and I know it's subjective, but if they would have looked better, then maybe I could have gotten behind it. I just, I, I just, I just, it's not doing it for me. I'm glad that I'm not a fan nor grew up a fan of the Washington football team because I would have a hard time pivoting to the new name and the new uniforms. That's all I'm saying. I
I'll, I'll say this too, you know, A, I, I don't like those rat birds either. So, you know, and I, you know that I don't <laughs> think that they should exist. But anyway, uh, well, if they do, you know, they should have been an expansion franchise. But again, that's neither here nor there. I, I, I do think it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to saying like an actual Washington team name again, because I, I stopped using that slur and I never really usually wrote it in writing, you know, whenever, when I was covering the Rams and whenever they would play Washington, I just use Washington. So now actually getting to say a Washington team name and the Washington commanders, like that's, it's going to take some getting used to probably not as much getting used to as like San Diego going to Los Angeles or Oakland going to Las Vegas. Like, is that, I still, like, I think I called the Raiders Oakland the other day on the show. Like, and I covered them in Las Vegas. So, like, that's stupid from my standpoint. But, you know, it'll be fun to finally call Washington the Washington Commanders. But when that's the name that's that's been applied for so long, and, and again, the geographic name, it's not like there's anything troubling about it. I stopped using the former name of the Washington football team in 2013, and and, you know, every once in a while I would slip and I would feel like I accidentally blurted out the F word when I did. Me too. And it didn't yeah. happen very often. Um, and, and there was a point where when I would go to say Raiders, I would feel that neuron fire because it starts mm. with an R where I right. felt like I shouldn't say Raiders. Um, when you're just going because your whole life, that's the name of the team. That's, that was my mom's second favorite team. That was the name of the team. And you just accept it. And then when you finally realize, yeah, maybe this isn't a word that people should be using anymore. It's hard to unlearn a lifetime habit of, of referring to a football team by its name. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.